So we're about five times over budget on the office very early on in the project, and I just bought a car, so the bank account's taking a hit, but the YouTube content is about to be fire. <laughs> the coffee going ready to go. Guys, this is the e-bike, chilling here, charging it up. It goes like 20 miles an hour on a, on a charge, lasts for miles, and it's how do you get around the city without having to pay for parking, and can kind of go anywhere, so it's the best. Guys, really need something to fill that spot right there. I feel like it's looking a little bit empty. We got Oliver out here shooting, killing it. Yeah, as always. <laughs> Oliver thinks we got the car for 8k. We got 5k. 5k? 5k. <laughs> we are going on day three of the office tour. Now, as I mentioned, I uh, did pick up a car, so that's going to be in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it's going to be a really fun project. And uh, we did make a lot of advancements on the office, but more than anything, we uh, decided to do a lot more than we originally intended. So let's go upstairs real quick. So here we are, as you guys can see, a lot has changed since we were last here. Uh, all of these shelves have been taken down and you know got rid of. And then over here, you'll see that these shelves are still up, but they're completely cleared out aside from a couple of glass pieces. These are gonna be coming down and uh, all this will be perfectly clean as it's kind of having like a blank slate. As you can see here, this kind of ties into the whole factor that we're way over budget, but I decided that if we're gonna do it, we might as well do it right. So we're actually gonna build a complete soundproof studio right here. Uh, that will also double as my office. Uh, as you can see, right here is kind of going to be like, if you look up, you can see there's a skyline. So we're going to start this wall right here and have everything back. So about 13, 14 feet wide and then the whole length of this deep. This window, not a huge fan of it. I, I'm thinking to take it out completely because it's not actually structural, it's just a window. So take this out, remove it. That's another big part of the budget. But I think for just general sake of making this office you know as livable and and workable as possible this will go we'll put like three four pane windows in there and then um, that will be really nice for having fresh air and a lot of light and then being able to look over all of our inventory cars as cars come in etc just to kind of keep a look on everything so this will be the office this is all going to be soundproofed here there's going to be like triple pane windows so that is all good uh, the floor is going to be raised a little bit and put deadening in the floor as well as on the wall as well um, in order to kind of eliminate all sound because you could put tens of thousands of dollars worth of equipment into a room and that's what we're planning to do. But the problem with that is if there's any outside noise pollution like you might even hear right now into this lab mic, it's not gonna be to its full potential. So my goal is to kind of use it to its full potential. So in the office, you're gonna see here, uh, there's gonna be a desk right here and there's gonna be everything mounted from the ceiling. Now I've never done this before and uh, most people use stands, but I'm actually thinking to uh, make custom mounts because cameras, lighting, all that stuff can just be mounted off of screw mounts. So you're going to see Aperture 120D that I have over there uh, mounted kind of facing here. And then it's going to have a boom mic as well as uh, GH5S or whatever camera I decide to use for that. So it's kind of like a plug and play system. That's going to help a lot because I'm using this space to not only create new content for, you know, business lifestyle automotive for this YouTube channel, but mainly uh, building the whole course out uh, to help you guys with content driven digital. So that's a huge thing that I'm looking to do in order to make the best possible end result that I can. So the audio is going to be beautiful and all that stuff will be well set. So worth the investment. Definitely, like I said, wasn't sure if I was going to do it at first, but it only makes sense if we're going to put this much money and time into something. So over here, you're going to see that we have the um, podcasting setup right here, as well as some desks and couches that we brought in from George, as well as the desk kind of pushed to the side for now as we clear everything out. Now, I, I kind of want to get a feel for things. That's why I wanted to bring it here. Uh, even though, you know, it would have been nice to have things completely empty. I want to bring it here, kind of figure out how things are going to look, how things are going to work. So this wall is going to get completely painted. Uh, probably going to get some signage here that looks cool. Get these little holes filled in. Uh, probably going to be gunmetal. And then, you know, this wall doesn't need to be painted because it's going to be covered. This is going to have a ceiling on it. It's going to be tile flooring probably. We're going to make this look really cool. And then back in this corner inside of the office, you're going to see not a bar area, but like a you know, two fridges, so everything's symmetrical for, you know, LaCroix and whatever else. 
and that will be really, really cool to have. And then an entertainment area with a TV and a couch so you can kind of view things. So I can have my you know, editor open on the computer, whatever I'm editing, a client can come see it and they can look at it on the TV and we can kind of address either you know, what we want to change or how much they might like it, hopefully. So uh, with that said, uh, all this stuff will be cleared out of here. We're gonna keep the floor as it is for now. Might strip and wax it potentially with my friend Jacob who owns a cleaning business and he can do that for me. You guys have seen him in previous videos with his Ferrari 458 and you'll probably see uh, his 911 Turbo that has a thousand horsepower coming up soon. So excited to film some new videos for you guys. Excited to be able to edit them in this space. Um, Oliver's on the camera right now. He's killing it. We're working on an edit for today's video. So really excited to bring some new styles to you guys and just kind of bring you into this whole experience of building an office, putting a lot of money into something and just taking a lot of risk, but being able to kind of calculate the potential reward of having something that's so structured and put together. Guys, like I said, the car project is coming in here from Virginia. Drop a comment down below with what you think that it's going to be. I'm already been like you saw at Elmer's BMW ordering parts, telling their service department about it. So they're going to get everything back to like new. I'm super excited for the build and I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you want to see any other episodes of the office builds take a look here uh, kind of get updated and see how this used to look and stay tuned for the future episodes because there's a lot of stuff coming so as always guys like this video if you liked it dislike it if you didn't subscribe and would mean the absolute world to me and i'll see you in the next video